You know what it is. You tuned in to the Notion Podcast. I'm here, Dizzy D. Spill, with my co-host in the building. Twenty Evans, man. What's going on? Man, it's it's going, bro. Yeah? Yeah. I think I'm getting I think I'm getting my bearings right and stuff like that. It's it's going though. You know what I mean? That's um, cool. Yeah. I mean, how, how's it going for you, bro? Oh, mine is in park. Okay. <laughs> That's not mine's always a bad is, thing. Mine's is in park, you know what I'm saying? Somebody's like, yeah, what's going on? Like, man, everything is low key right now, and I'm not complaining. That's real chill. I I'm think that's the best thing when you, it ain't a whole lot going on, but you're not complaining. Well, you know, that that's the thing about it. It's like, you know, how they be on quiet before the storms. Mm -hmm. Or it's just like you've been going at it nonstop, and now there's downtime. Y'all never talk about the quiet after the storm. Huh? Said so don't ever talk about the quiet after the storm. But I'm saying though, it's just like <laughs> why not? Because like you know, there's a quiet before the storm. Like you know, some big is gonna happen. So yeah, 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 you, you for sure. The, the downtime that you have, you know, what I'm saying, and you appreciate it before it gets major. Yeah. On the other hand, it's like you know, once we had talked about like I, I've been at it for eight years with the with the brand. Yeah. So it's like you know, some downtime for the brand right now, and it, if that's all it's been for about eight years taking a downtime or hiatus, that's kind of new. You know right. what I'm saying? So learning to uh, slow down, adjust, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, I just feel like you always got to do something. You got to, when you're, when you're yeah. under the door, you feel like you should always be on the clock. You feel like you're lacking if you're not, if you're exactly. not doing something every day. And yeah. when you sit down and chill, it's like, dang, I know I could be doing something productive. And so it's like trying to get out of that mindset, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and just like chill and relax and, um, and it's even harder when you're wired that way too, like and outside the saying. business. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. But I've been, able, and I'm still going to school. So that still has me working to some extent. Shout but, out to uh, school. Yeah, they are. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, I got a couple of books I, I plan to reread and research break down. So I, I tend to keep my mental working, but mm -hmm. like, you know, just taking a step back and, and taking some downtime and just kind of exhaling, man. So yeah, yeah it's kind of in park right now as opposed to what it's, it usually is, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's been like that for me too. I mean, but I, I can honestly say it's, I mean, there's still things that I got on the website for the brand, but you know, I'm not even going sugarcoat it or, or fake the funk, like, you know, having a child, you know what I'm saying? And getting adjusted to that. And then us doing the show and then, you know, having having your business, you know, people like to try to make it seem like that shit or, or they what's the saying? Oh, you make it look easy. Nah, ain't nothing easy about it. I'm not going to make it look easy. I want you to know exactly, you know, what entails when you decide to to venture into these things. And then you have outside forces that are important to your life as well and trying to balance that. And this is this is what it looks like. You know what I'm saying? You got to take a break. You have to regroup. You have to try different things that you haven't tried. You have to understand what doesn't work. So you can work it's towards. Trial and error. Yeah. So just between doing the show and then, you know, like I said, there's the brand is the brand is there. I still have inventory and stuff like that. But trying to come out with different ideas and then having different shoots and all that stuff, you know, that'll come that's, later. That's exhausting. Yeah, it is. But, you know, what makes it more exhausting is sometimes you're not always motivated. That's another thing that I see online is there's a lot of inspiration. There's a lot of motivation. But, you know, there's this perception that you're like that 24 seven, you know, at, you know, whatever it is that you're doing. And if that was the case, then the, the greats wouldn't have bad games, you know, in, in sports or entertainers wouldn't, you know, sometimes they don't have the best show out of their shows. And that's just because you're you're, you're perfect. You know, are you imperfect? You know what I'm saying? That's part of the reason for my hiatus. Yeah. Uh, I'm feeling some type of way about where the culture is at. And so... When you say culture, what, what part of the culture are you talking uh, about? The, the, the sneaker culture. Mm -hmm. In specific. I mean, that's what my business is right, built right, off right. of. So, but uh, I don't know. It's just things have shifted, have changed so much and, you know, I know change is inevitable, but all change is a necessarily progressive change. Right. It's been more. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it's, it's sometimes it's just a change from what we're used to. That yeah. doesn't make it better. Yep. 
it's just changed. From, it's just changed. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's things shift, things transition, things evolve into the next form. Uh, or and I don't yeah. even want to say evolve so much because I feel like evolving is like upward. Yeah, it's like an upgrade. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's not so much upward as so as it is lateral. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because there are still people who operate in that realm. Yeah. That I grew up in and that I I'm a part of that I'm still connected to and yeah. they're just. And that change is affecting everyone differently too, right? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, because the thing about it is like in a lot of aspects, I got into things late. Okay. And I got into things late because while people were looking at shoes and seeing dollar signs, mm-hmm. I was still looking at sneakers and I'm in it for the love of the kicks and the materials and the colorways. And yeah. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I get a shoe. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? I drill over it like look at this and, yeah you, like, you're still appreciating what's going on yeah they get a yeah, shoe and yeah. they move it and then the whole thing about it is like you know kicks used to drop two three pair a month mm-hmm. which gave you time to appreciate yeah right? yeah bro kicks drop every other day every week you, you don't have time to appreciate damn near don't have time to accumulate the funds you know what I'm saying and so it's just like everybody's in it for money and it's taking on this different um form and you see the stock x and gold commercials and things like that that's crazy everybody seems to like have some they're aware everybody is aware of sneakers and you know what i'm saying their impact so everybody is up in their sneaker game you know what i'm saying when you see people like skip bayless flexing jays you like yo (laughs) yo you know what i'm saying i did see episode he was rocking at 11s like the only person that i like that i've seen that does it but besides um Besides, uh, I can't think of his name right now. Shannon. Mm. Besides, besides Shannon, Uncle Shay. Besides him, mm-hmm. Ernie. Oh yeah, Ernie Johnson. Yeah, always, yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah, he does. You know what I'm saying? And I, and, but so, but it's just different now. And with it being different, like it's taking on form. It's like, yeah, I get it. I understand it. I'm not knocking it. I'm kind of late to the party, and with me being late to the party, I don't know if I want to stay. I seen. I could tell you something that was new for me that tripped me out is the free promotion for, for stock X that other platforms or other shows are giving them. And I'll give you an example. I've been watching power. Me and my wife been watching power force. Right. And, um, the first episode, it starts out with this, this big dog that just did like 15, maybe 20 years in jail. And he was the big dude that ran Chicago. And so when they were handing him his stuff back, they handed him the 13th. And uh, they were like in mint condition or whatever. And dude was like, man, these go for X amount of hundred dollars on stock X. And he was like, what? He was like, oh man, you can, and, and then he just gave them to him. And then he walked out in his socks. But the thing that I thought about in that scene is like, that's the norm now. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, the, the norm isn't to go to the store and get some kicks. Well, malls are shutting down, bro. Yeah. Stores are shutting down. Foot lockers, foot actions are shutting down. You know what I'm saying? Malls are shutting down because mm-hmm. it's all about shopping online. Yeah. It's all about online shopping. And uh, the pandemic had what played a major part in that. You know, yeah. being stuck in the house. And at one point, everybody was stuck in the house with, um, I guess you could say, disposable income. Because you're not spending as much if you're stuck in the house. And then, like, you know, if you're... If anything, you fluffing up on food. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, like... You ain't burning as much gas. You know what I'm saying? You just had extra cash. And so people be looking online and, you know, kind of splurge and get a few extra things. And then now it's like, you can go out and go buy stuff. Like, yo, but Amazon could get it to me by tomorrow if I order before three. And I don't really need it, like, right now, right now. You know what the backwards thing I about that? I am a that? Prime member. <laughs> I'm a Prime member, too. <laughs> the backwards That's thing about that day, you know what I mean? is, like, you... So with all the stores and all the malls and and outlets shutting down eventually, you know, these are the places that you go to to showcase your your, your stuff. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, with every, you know, with so many people not really or or moving more cautious and where they're going and the amount of people that are there, it kind of limits your opportunity. I mean, I had a conversation with you all the time. I got all kinds of stuff that I want to wear that I haven't worn yet because one minute you got to wear a mask, one minute you don't. There's a new variant, oh, where you can only have capacity. And it's just it's too much thought to just even go out and enjoy the times, let alone try to showcase how you put together a dope fit with some dope kicks. I'm going to be honest. I'm wearing my mask everywhere. Yeah, and the thing for me is just like I'm gonna be honest, bro. There might be like a couple choice pieces or kicks that I don't pull out. Outside of that, though, 
I'll be wearing everything everywhere. Yeah. I really I don't I don't even care. Like my sis had a little uh B Day event, um, a winery. I pulled up mask on the whole time, but I you know, Travis Scott sixes and custom piece I designed for myself. Well maybe I need to get know. out more, man. I don't know. Shit. <laughs> bro, I mean, that's the whole thing. I don't even be getting out. I just get like bro, I'll get dressed, run to the bank, run a couple places and be back in the house fitted. Yeah, you do, cause I could tell. I'm like, dude, this too early. I know he ain't went nowhere at seven thirteen, and he got on a full fit. Uh, now I be trying to get the place before people, bro. Yeah, well, I know. I, early, I feel like you the first early, one there, cause early you be grocery up. shopping. You know what I'm saying? Like early runs to like mm-hmm. Walmart's and the Targets. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Stuff like that. Like get that out the way early. I don't. I, don't, I, don't, I don't like um, people. Yeah, I'm yeah. starting to get that way in a sense. I man, I am. It's just uncomfortable. Like, it, it seems like everything is kind of related. Because I mean, we, we were talking about you know when we say like you know the difficulties with the business and some of the things that we we deal with. I mean, some of the stuff. The, to like I said, to be honest, instead of bullshitting people on social media, people make shit difficult in general. They make things well, what know. they are now. You know what I'm saying. And there's just a disconnect in communication because everybody's used to texting and social media yeah. communication and DMs and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that's all. It's just yeah. a disconnect. Once people learn to really l- communicate, you know, and understand there's two parts, you have to listen. Mm-hmm. Ah, you can't just be all talk. Mm-hmm. Listen, don't just hear them waiting for your turn. To talk. You think you that time listen. will come, man? Or? Who knows? Shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> with, with everything, I mean, I there, there's there's great things about about being alive right now. You know, the way we have access to things, the amount of information, even sometimes it's too much information, you know, but it does seem like at times, you know, uh, the, the, the meaning behind why we do certain things, why certain things... Like a handshake is important or a meeting is important, you know. Yeah, I'm not so. real big on shaking hands after the pandemic. Well, man, yeah. What was that? Was, he was that demolition, man. You better hit me with a... Don't, don't I will not. Just... I'll, with a, I'll chuck the deuce still or something like that. Air dap? Yeah, air daps or something. We got to come up <laughs> with something better than that. I am not doing... <laughs> I am not doing that. I'm not going not, out not like that. the wax on? Yeah, not I'm... The, yeah, you, with the I'm Miyagi. Team Simon Phoenix. <laughs> he was breaking all the rules. <laughs> but yeah, man, um, it, it is, it is, it is a, uh, it is important though. Like you know, to take a step back with, with things that we work on or, you know, things that's going on. And it's just in life, sometimes, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying get uh, recalibrated. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's necessary. And then when you get back to it, you kind of you kind of get a little bit of motivation back that you probably could have lost during, you know, before that time period. So, yeah. But um hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> like we We're not making no guarantees. We just just throwing just, stuff out there that, yeah, that 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 are I'm realistic, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's that's that'd be awesome, but you know, it don't always happen like that. I think that's slowly coming back. Hit me in my DM like, "Yeah, I took a break and I ain't feeling it." You said, "Like, yo, <laughs> oh. Results may vary. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you have to use that very often. Hey. The results may vary. Yeah, I'm not a professional uh, at giving advice. I'm just telling you, this is what I do. The only thing, the, some of the things I'm professional, I can't give advice at over the air. So there's that. Yeah, I feel it. Yo, um, <laughs> <laughs> check this out, dog. So, how much do you know about Joe Rogan? Uh. The white guy from Fear Factor. <laughs> right? Yeah. All right. He so makes people eat roaches and bugs and yeah. do scary stuff, right? Yeah, you know, they can't show that on TV no more. Oh. Uh, but is, uh, is it not vegan? I, it's not gluten friendly. Uh, maybe, I man. Mean, <laughs> it depends on how they cook it, man. I don't know. It's, always out, it's raw. I mean, yeah. Speak, man, I'm going to send you something later. Um, but uh, I've had conversations w- w- with people about the whole um, the whole use of the N word, and I mean, I don't want to make it about about Joe Rogan, but I know we had a small conversation about it, and um, I mean, what is your take? Because I, I did hear a good point, but it's just to me, it's still just a good. There point. are no good points. 
You don't think so? Not in his favor. Oh no, 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 no. Well, that's the weird thing. It was it was kinda in his favor, but kinda not. It was just kinda like just for conversation's sake. But I mean, as far as as far as your take, I mean, how do you I mean just I mean he should not be using that word in any sense, shape or form mm-hmm. whatsoever at all. Mm. And if he uses it in private behind closed doors, that's fine. But out in public, on the air, in conversation, mm-hmm. yeah, that's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. For you, why do you feel it's unacceptable? Just in your 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 opinion, how? Well, I mean, how you like think? the word itself is derogatory. It's negative. But you know, there you know, there's security blanket for that. Well, you guys say it, and da, 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 da. first of all. We don't say it with the ER. Mm. See, the ER is where, it, see, we. So there's content, because I haven't seen. Oh, I've, oh, I've seen. Well, it's, bleep, it's, seen it's bleeped content. out where I, it's yeah. Not cont- it's not bleeped out where I've seen it. Oh, okay. See, I've seen it, and it's, it's ER. Mm. Yeah, it's not, uh, not GA like we use. Mm-hmm. And the thing about it is the way that we use it, it's used as a term of endearment in majority of cases yeah you know what i'm saying yeah the way that it was when it came about with the er that means ignorant Mm -hmm. feel me stupid unaware ignorant right so i don't appreciate anybody using that word like the thing about it is like even with us i don't feel like we should be abusing a word just based on the fact that there's better words and better terms that we can use to acknowledge each other. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I mean, like, even at the end of the day, even though the way that we use the word is not meant from what it's derived from, mm-hmm. it's still derived from a negative word. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, p- tomato, tomato. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And so, and then that's the thing about it. It's like, if you don't even have that understanding, which those outside of our hue don't, then to them, it's the same word. Hmm. So for them to say it, after seeing us say it, it's like, oh, well, what's the difference? I'm like, oh, what's up with my nigga? They're so, see, they're saying nigga. No. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? Lose and the then, ER then, or end up in ER. But there's a disconnect in the understanding behind that because for them, it's the same word. I feel like it's not a disconnect. I feel like it's, I feel like, I feel like people are playing. Well, because they know in a lot of cases, yeah, they, but they plan and they're trying to act like they're they're um what's the word oblivious or didn't know, you know, oh, I didn't know that there I mean, was a difference. The whole thing about know, it is man. like this, though. It doesn't matter if there's a difference or not. You shouldn't be using the word. Right. In any right. shape, form or fashion. Right. If you call yourself being, you know, woke and proactive and, you know, um, whole you know, I can't think of the word right now, but being with this forward movement and equality and everybody, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Then why would you of a different race even want to use any sense of a, any term that refers to people being ignorant, especially a specific race? If you're looking to move away yeah. from that and get further ahead, why would you even want to use that type of terminology? That's a good question. Why even walk you the fine line to begin with? Because like, why, like, oh, we're trying to move forward and we we want to forget about race and everybody is equal and da 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 and all this and then you want to talk around talk about you a nigger this and like not it's that's that's it's contradictive. It doesn't add up. You feel me? Mm-hmm. You can't talk about wanting us to forget about this and move forward and being equal and trying to, you know what I'm saying, progress as a nation, as a people. And y'all running around here using nigger. Well, I've heard, I heard a perspective that this all popped off because, um, and I think, I feel like uh, Vlad even talked about it because I, I do watch some of Vlad's content from time to time. And he talked about this kind of sparked as a distraction with him saying something about the vaccine. And so what they did is they went back and pulled up old content. Cause I guess this content where he was doing this was like 10 or 12 years ago because he has strong opinions about the vaccine. So it was like, Oh, okay, well we'll just pull out this, this well, negative that you did right saying, here. He was sharing, uh, the information he was given about the vaccine was false. Uh-huh. That was that was something that I heard that he was giving false information about the vaccine, and then it was crazy how it shifted from that because I heard about that, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden it was about people wanting to remove their 
re, when their music removed from the same platform that he's on, uh-huh. and it being due to you know um, him being racist or you uh-huh. know, and I'm like. Well, how did how did how did that happen so fast? Like at yeah. one minute, it's it's him giving false information about the vaccine, and people not want to be connected to that. And then all of a sudden, it was like, well, he's using the N word and he's racist, and he and I'm just like, I guess he is just a hot topic, right? Like you know, what I'm saying like it's, well, were, like, it's like damn, he just keep dropping the ball, huh? Well, they mi- <laughs> they mixed it, they made it. Well, what I heard from somebody is that they were trying to figure out a way to take him out by the whole use of the N-word thing from the past because of vaccine information that he was given out and, you know, the government or whoever, the higher, oh, the so higher authority. Oh, so kind of like how uh, once Kevin Hart was picked to host the Oscars, they want to go back to 20, yeah. like, seven like years wh- ago. Whoever the powers that be stuff. that disagree with you, we're going to pull up some old shit that you did to kind of spank you on the ass about something we, we didn't like that you're doing or liking that you said. And so <laughs> from that person's perspective, it's like, oh, they're just using black people you know what I'm saying? Because they disagree with his opinions about the vaccine, which I'm like, well, that's that's pretty uh, that's it's, pretty common. It's crazy because the thing is, it seemed like I heard more about, you know, what I'm saying the race car on, you know, what I'm saying dealing with him than I did about the vaccine. Mm-hmm. One thing I will say is I feel like we always have a right to have an opinion about, you know, who's using the word and and their intentions. But I also feel like. When somebody like 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 Joe Rogan, I don't know how big his black audience is. It don't even matter. Uh huh. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. That's like it doesn't matter, bro. Like yeah. it doesn't matter how big his audience is. Like it's yeah, irrelevant. I like I feel like honestly, I feel like everybody, regardless of your color mm-hmm. or you know lack thereof, mm-hmm. <clears throat> should be getting away from the word. In all variations. Yeah. Though. Yeah. Because nothing positive comes out of it. You know what I'm saying? Nah, nothing positive does come out of like, it. And it's like, you know, don't get me wrong. Yeah, we use the word. But I myself even try to limit my use of the word. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I feel like I can use better words to describe people. And if I feel like you are ignorant, then I'll say, you say ignorant motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's just dumb it. You know what I'm saying? But I'll, yeah. I'll, I'm going to get straight to the point. Like, so it just... I feel like we should get away from all words that are connected to um, derogatory races, meanings, negative. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like, you know, there's the there's a, a specific racist word for uh, Mexicans and different uh, minorities. Right. Mm-hmm. Ethnicities. Correct. Mm-hmm. And we pretty should, much every ethnicity. And we should be doing away with all of that if we are looking to grow. Mm-hmm. Right. And it's about understanding that those words affect those people from those cultures. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's it's disrespectful. It's offensive. Mm -hmm. And nine times out of ten, it's unnecessary. I feel like when you use those words, you're looking to strike a chord. You're looking to piss somebody off or affect. You definitely. You know what I'm saying? If you're not black and you're using that word, you're looking for a reaction regardless. I've seen videos where it's like, like, well, you know, like, I remember when he's like, I'm going to say it. I'll say it. He's like, you, ne-. and before he could even finish, he was like, you near, and he whooped this. And it was like, bro, you knew, you knew it. That's mm-hmm. why he said, I'm going to say it. Like, when she was like, come on, you know better. Mm-hmm. You know, or now I see why you, and then spit on somebody. And it's like, now they got to whoop your ass. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're being offensive and disrespectful. All that just, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's just like so people are aware of what these words mean more than not when they use them. Oh and yeah, so for sure. Why even use them? And if you're looking to get that type of response, and maybe you should be looking about seeking mental health, because why are you trying to rob people up and be disrespectful? What is that about? Ah oh, man, that's the wave right now. It's anything to give views and clicks. What I will well, say, I'm what I will, side. what I, what I will say <laughs> is. The when I, going back to my point about his demographic was because that was a point that was made to me about him being used, and I felt like I I I could see how somebody is you know will, will create a narrative to try to take you out another way. But the reason why I brought up the his black demographic is if we're not even a, a, a big part of his his viewership or whatever, then it's kind of hard for me to believe that that is the reason why this conversation came up because people get shit dig, dug up on them 24 seven. It's just like Nick Bosa. 
from the fucking San Francisco 49ers, right? He said some wild ass shit before he got drafted. You know what I mean? And and I guess if you're a Niner fan, y'all let that shit fly. Still got the jersey, whatever the case it was. But shit is always resurfacing from what people say in every single profession. So, like, I address that because I don't want the word itself to be something that, like, how you just broke everything down and you said it shouldn't be used on all levels. I didn't want that to minimize the fact that it shouldn't be used because, oh, you know, somebody over here, they're just using this person for the fact that they said it's a, for a whole nother agenda. Like, regardless, if you're bringing up old shit or not, and we find out, you're going right, to get spanked yeah. on the ass for it. It shouldn't be that comfortable using yeah. the word. It shouldn't be using the word, period. Right. I, I, don't, I don't care. I don't care, no. No, it's not okay. Yeah, it ain't. Like, like, and that's the thing about it, because I'm going to be honest. Like, you asked me who he was, I told you. I'm talking about a show they don't even air no more. <laughs> you, you see what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't tell you about the topics discussed on this podcast because it's not relevant to me. He's not relevant to me. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not in his demographic at all. I'm not, he's not somebody I'm checking for. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And so it's like. So. Let me ask you that then. Like, as a people, if if motherfuckers are running around doing shit like that that we ain't even checking for, do we should we, as a culture, still take the time to spank them on the ass for for the violation? Yeah, if you out of pocket, you out of pocket. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if you out of pocket, you out of pocket. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, regardless, is you got You have to be checked. I and agree if you've been that. doing it this long. And this comes up now, then that means that you've been doing it and you've probably been doing it behind closed doors and everything because it hasn't been checked uh -huh. because it's coming up now and it's a surprise to everybody uh -huh. because now it's putting being put on spotlight. He's been doing this for hella long, but he's not it's relevant to everybody. Yeah, yeah. It's you see what I'm saying? It's death. like he's underground. Yeah. He's underground and he's been doing this for so long. Now he's doing something that's affecting higher ups. They want to pull some stuff out and put the stuff on spotlight so now everybody can see it. But a lot of people was like, Joe, Joe Rogan, they saying the same thing. The dude from Fear Factor? <laughs> <laughs> he on a podcast? <laughs> yeah. Last thing I seen, he had a stand-up on Netflix three years ago. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's, like where is the relevancy? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And so it's just like, it's, it's, is it disrespectful and unappreciated? 100%. Has he ever been on my radar? Not nah. in the least. Yeah. So, you know, it's like, nah, I'm not checking for him. Mm -hmm. But if something's brought to my attention about him being, you know, racist and disrespectful, then I feel like that's something that needs to be addressed. Yeah. I also feel like, to that point, it also depends on what you decide to... um what you decide to consume and digest. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't, it's, because I say that because I talked to somebody, same conversation. And I said, I haven't really seen anything about it. But one time, the first, the first time me and you had a small conversation, like, yo, you hear about what happened? I was like, nah. But then the first time I ever seen it because of the type of content I follow, it was a, um, a luxury content, uh, a luxury page that I follow where they give you like motivational things. And, and then they, Posted like, I guess, you know, everybody got to post some kind of news to, to stay within the algorithm. And I was like, yo, this is the first time. And I had already heard about it. It already been a couple of weeks since me and you first talked about it. That was the first time I seen on my timeline. And, and when I was talking to this person, it was like, for real? And I was like, yeah, I haven't really seen it because of what I am consuming. Okay. And so in the way that it was broke down to me, I seen a video and it was posted by India Irie. Okay. And because uh, I heard, I heard she had a she had a mouthful to say about it. Well, because the thing about it, she was like, "Well, she she showed clips, and it had to be like you know, fifteen, sixteen different clips Damn. Him using the word right. It was just like a little, it was a little breakdown. He was you know where he's comfortably just saying this word <laughs> on the air. How do you write that apology? <laughs> and so. <laughs> After that, she was just like, yeah, I asked Spotify to take my music off of the platform. She was like, um, Spotify is built, off the, is built off of the back of the streams of mm -hmm. the music. Right. 
and we only see so much of a percentage from uh-huh. the streams, but you're taking the same money that's made from our streams and you turn around and you're paying somebody who is being racist on air. I don't want to contribute to that. So take my music off the platform. Mm. And in that instance, it makes so much more sense for somebody of color to speak out and say something like that. It's Cause like, I don't want to be on the same platform as somebody else, especially if I'm helping to fund the airways for them to be able to do what they're doing. And I don't agree with it. Yeah. You don't want to carpool to work with a racist. Right. So that's how I mean, that's the first thing. That's the first analogy that popped in my head. And so that's how she went about it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of artists, though, they eat solely Mm -hmm. off of streams. Streams, So that's a bigger decision that they have to make. It's a bigger sacrifice for a greater cause. Yeah. To my understanding, out of the streaming platforms that there are Spotify is on a lower level of the percentage that is paid to artists right so depending on you know where you're really at and the base of your following is might determine how you go about things right so uh, it's crazy all the way around I personally um I ain't, I've never really cared for the guy you know what I'm saying I'm not I can't say he's a good or a bad person because I don't follow him or rock with him like that I mm-hmm. just know that you know what I'm saying that was he's out of pocket, out of pocket yeah. and he shouldn't be using that word it's disrespectful and he needs to learn from that do you ever feel like our culture is too lenient on just like letting people in the door to kind of it's not even too lenient it's just that like it's the people in power don't do what they should okay like, I see I mean, what you mean. Because yeah. I'm going to tell you like this. If he had been using gay slurs, the people in power in the LGBTQ, they would have they would have lynched him. I don't excuse even know the, if he would have. Excuse the term because in that term is, you see what I'm yeah. saying? But they would have hung him out to dry, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I it's mean, like, the baby is a great example. Bro, we like we it's <sighs> like the black. It's like the black movement doesn't have that power. You're absolutely right. Yeah, you know, and that's You're absolutely it's, it's right. Sad, like we don't, like you know, what I'm saying we just because if we did, there there would have been examples made of people already to where they wouldn't have been comfortable to do that. You're absolutely right. The BLM movement was laughed out, bro. It was laughed out. Like it, it lasted for a minute, and then certain things started coming to light that just like yo, people in charge and people over there and the way things are. Stop playing. Well, the, the other thing, serious. The other thing about that is, I always believed in the statement, never believed in the, the how it was organized. That's why I've never said it. I definitely believe. Yeah, Black Lives fucking matter for sure. That's probably our first time ever hearing me say that. But it was the movement. The movement. It and and I'm, I, I always try my best to dissect and, and deconstruct l- really look at something before I just say I'm a part of that you, you know what I'm to. saying you have to yeah a lot of people don't a lot of people see two or three people they familiar with Bro. doing it and they roll with it I, I mean I don't. How, how how hard do you see me a part of that movement uh never <laughs> boom never and there's a lot of and there's a lot of us that you know feel that way and it's dude I don't I don't know the fine print I don't know the details I'm not going I, I've never been to swim with the other school of fish is, is just nah but you're you're absolutely right and that's I think that's the bigger I mean, part like, uh, they did a lot of rallies they got some uh, streets changed and uh, you know some places painted on the streets for a while mm-hmm. um they made some day a holiday was it Juneteenth they made Juneteenth a holiday mm-hmm. and I mean that's cool but I mean Juneteenth is really a holiday for those in Texas right yeah Okay, um, <clears throat> I'm just saying, like you know, what I'm saying, like what of value, what was done that was valid that will you know help the generations after us, huh? Well, none. Bro, and- how long was they abusing Asians before they put laws and legislation in place? ASAP. Hate crimes. ASAP. Right. ASAP. How long have they been doing that to people of our hue and no law, no legislation? Nothing. So, like, great conversation, though. We had we, we, we had like, some conversation, but no, nah, like, nah, nah. there's no. It's like there's never any power behind the movement the way it needs to be. It's like the people in position don't want to lose their position. Yeah. They're scared of that. They're scared yeah. of speaking out for you know what's right and 
you know that's up. crazy because so, when it yeah. comes to us it's like that but when you see when you just broke down different groups different movements and different beliefs creeds oh. and shit like that yeah, and, and 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 there's a but that's because they're fearless there's, a, there's, a, there's also it seems to be um honestly a lack of respect for our race oh absolutely you feel me that's and i feel like that's a global agreement to, to keep it real it's a global agreement but the thing about it is everywhere acknowledges acknowledges it but here yeah. You go to other you can go to other countries and they'll tell you how your country is wrong for how they treat you. <laughs> like that's like what? Well, I, I've corrected somebody in the past, um, saying something stupid to me like that, uh, when I was in my early clubhouse days and they said, you know, you you know, you Americans and this, that and the other, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just kinda like, Well, I mean, you breaking down how we get treated and shit like that, I mean, how much of an American, do you think black people over here really feel like they are? So you should kind of be, I don't know, a little bit more educated on your point. You know what I'm saying? And it's not, and it's not that, you know, us as a people are trying to be divisive or, you know, fuck this or fuck that. You know, it's, it's almost like the flag shit, you know, that they still, there's people that still don't fucking get it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Eminem kneeled at the fucking uh, at the Super Bowl, that. not during the national anthem, and it's still, it still is a fucking conversation for what I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like some people just argue for argue's sake. They don't even really understand why they're arguing, but because these two over here that they fuck with is arguing about it, it it's a lot of it's a lot of movement in in bullshit like that. A lot of it, and that's part of the reason why I said earlier, like I'm not just gonna be down rapping something. Just because that's the, I like, they say the trend, but I like the word hype because I feel like that word is attached to so many different things. Even though we talk about sneakers and shit a lot, that fucking word is attached to damn near anything that makes headlines. It's hype. That's part of the reason certain things make headlines. Headlines. Mm -hmm. It's because it's hype or to drive hype. Yeah. And they're both deadly. (laughs) Well, because, you know, um, there's a lot of sheeple out here and they're being led by the news, which is being controlled by the higher ups. Yeah. So, you know, there's I, that. I made a, I made a fucked up comment and I'll, I'll you know what? I'll make it on the, on, on the platform. I made a fucked up comment, um, He's privately. Gonna do it again. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, uh, this, this, uh, artist that I know, local artist that I know named Andre Elix, he had posted, uh, uh, a really good, um, I don't know, I guess dissertation about his disdain about the Kanye and Kim Kardashian situation, right? And um, I left a comment because I was really feeling what he was saying. And basically, what he was, he, we were saying the same thing, just not to each other on two different occasions. And I just, for example, was us talking about hype and all this shit. I've told my wife on several occasions, man, I don't even care. Like, whatever is going on, all the bullshit, I was like, I really don't care what they got going on. They don't have our fucking problems. Whatever it is that they can do, they they can go buy therapy for it. They can buy security for it. Whatever the bullshit that's going on, they have the luxury of actually handling the problem as it is. Why? And the crazy thing is, is it's only news for us. I highly doubt celebrity, other celebrities, entertainers, and affluent people even give a fuck it but ain't, that's ain't but news for me. you see what I'm saying? I don't I don't care what any celebrities are doing outside of the reason why they are celebrities. Okay? Mm-hmm. If you come to me talking about Kanye, mm-hmm. you better be talking about an album or a shoe. <laughs> don't even talk to me about Kim Kardashian because I don't know what the fuck she's famous for. Right. So what are you gonna talk to me about? Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like <clears throat> everybody was all hyped about uh uh What's them people's name? Uh, People. Uh, Rihanna and ASAP. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't give a fuck. (laughs) Don't even. What is that? That that does nothing for me. It does nothing. The only thing I I saw when I saw the pictures was disgust. Why? Because you don't know these people and you're posting them. And two, she's showing her body and she's pregnant. Will you put some damn clothes on? Like, yo, that's not stylish. That was tacky. <laughs> Put some clothes on. You carrying this man's baby. Like, 
self like I saw her step out in something. She had like on like a red like hooded like silk like jump off for some little. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, that's appropriate. But everything else is like all oh, cut out, belly out. She's like, not my not my missus. I can't. That's unacceptable. And I mean, you can wear what you want, but I mean, let it be tasteful. And then once you pregnant, like you know what I'm saying, yeah. like. Yeah, Cover it's it up, keep it. Yeah, it's not a maternity shoot all day, every day. Man, yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah. and that's and that's all I'm, that's all I'm saying. And, but w- my point is like, what does that do for me? It, me being wrapped up or concerned with or knowing about what celebrities have going on does me no good unless like unless like I said. You coming to me for what they do. You're like, hey, Rihanna just dropped the album. I'm like, damn, it's been six years. I might want to listen to that. Yeah. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yo, ASAP Rocky just dropped new music. I was like, shit, I don't think I don't heard a verse from him since. I don't think I've heard a verse from him. <laughs> um, you know what I'm saying? Like, but like, talk to me about what they're known for. Don't right. talk to me about their personal life because right. I don't care. Yeah. Because I feel like personal should be personal and should be kept out of the limelight. So well, no, that's, that's fair because. What the fuck are they doing that the average person ain't doing every day? Like, bro, what about that was different? You know how many people took paternity shoots that weekend and was looking to post that shit and woke up Saturday to Rihanna's hype and was like, yo. Mm. Guess I'll wait till Monday. It's that feeling of when you pull out your shoes and you go somewhere and everybody got those shoes the same time you did decide to wear them that day. It's that feeling. Yeah, it's cool. Everybody's in the patent leathers. Everybody. Yep. Lobster seven different ways. <laughs> Your coach walked in with the leathers on. I'm going home. <laughs> nah, but it's just like, and that's the thing about it. Like, people, celebrities doing normal things and people being so wrapped up in it. And then they come out with this study that say people who are engulfed in celebrities' lives are usually those of lower IQs. Mm. Really? Yeah. You didn't you didn't see that? I don't listen to no music. I don't watch no, movies. No, 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 no. It was a uh, well that's the thing about it. It was it was something that was being shared on social media. For and the record, was, all these people I brought up were just names on papers. I don't know anybody. <laughs> names on papers. Yeah, you ain't got a notebook. But all right. Um so <clears> there. <laughs> lies. When I walked in, he was no I'm <laughs> He was still scrolling. No, but, but uh, uh yeah, man. So it's 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 just but I, I think know. I think it's good to really point that shit out, man, and um and, and and really address it. And I think it's important it's important that we say these things mainly because the motherfucking notion. But <laughs> the, <laughs> <laughs> but we we gotta get some order we gotta get some order in here, man, with, with the way society is being influenced these days. Well You know what I'm saying? But that's the thing, like I said, sheeple. Yeah. Nobody, a lot of people are not thinking for themselves. Right. They're allowing news and social media to lead and guide them and yeah. tell them what to believe and think instead of doing, you know, the due Even diligence. what to talk about. I mean, if, if you, you... Nobody wants to... The due diligence is not being done these days. That's all, you know, is... That's a good way to put it, it's, yeah. It's, well, you know, like you yeah. said, there's a lot of information out there, right? Too and much information out there. Mm, yeah, but the thing about it is like... It's only too much when you're actually trying to take it in. Yeah. Right? Well, I mean, something as simple as if I want to look something up. I can look stuff up. Oh, I mean, you're different. Well, I'm oh, getting better with that shit. All right. Keywords, sir. Keywords. Yeah. Gotta well, got to use the keywords. Well, back when Google first started, I had to worry about this shit. All right. So you can call me, call me the old dragon, but you know what? The fire hit different back then. All right. So I just. I feel like it's an abundance. Upgrade your gas. You know, <laughs> I'm wearing an 87. We about, I got we about to do another. Uh, I have to. That's my year. 91. <laughs> 91. <laughs> 91. <laughs> Premium. I will not. <laughs> my wallet decides if we're doing 87 or 91. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just don't drive <laughs> That too Sometimes I don't have enough for either And it's like yo uh, Yeah you pulling up Yeah Oh No 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 I will not Yeah You heading to Target Cool can you drop me off over to the joint before <laughs> What <laughs> Target is expensive 
Oh man, Tarjay. But you know what? There's certain shit you ain't got to deal with in there, man. That's why I prefer it. And it's closer to the crib. So, I mean, well, can't if lose you do there. Walmart pickup, you ain't, you just got to go to the parking lot. Uh, I never tried that. Yeah, man. There's a whole lot of stuff going on. <laughs> Straight up. Like, you know, it's cheaper on DoorDash than Instacart. What? Groceries. Really? Yeah. You just dropped the gym? Mm -hmm. I had a fucking issue with their DoorDash last night, bro. It was all bad. Well, the thing with this nigga DoorDash. kept my food. Oh, bro, it's crazy. And check it out, bro. Did if you, you listening, huh? <laughs> <laughs> about, I just gonna say, did you chat with an agent? <laughs> I did. I really did. You got your credits? Yeah, I got my credits. Boom. But bro, I was bro, I was a little hot. I had an issue myself. I ordered from this sushi spot, and I had grilled salmon, and my shit was brown in the middle. Huh? Yeah. Why do you do that? Nah, nah. Why they serve me bad fish? Yeah. <laughs> Thought they're gonna get away with it. The sushi was good though. How did you, how was you able to notice if it was in the well, never mind. Be, yeah. You know I'm a chef, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Like as soon as I got it, I was like, that don't look right. So you know, I did a little dissect. I'm like, oh, they thought they were finna serve me bad fish. No. So I chatted with an agent. I got my credits. Yeah, they tried to play me on the app. They was like, yeah, we'll give you $10. I was like, not if I pay $67, you are not. Yeah. I was like, I need to, I need you to run that. The ASAP. address said, the address says y'all are in Frisco, so I'm pulling up $67 and <laughs> give me 10 Nah, nah. And nah. you and you replenishing the gas it took me to get up here. But no, nah, I didn't know that. I'm actually trying to grocery thing. I didn't know that. Well, it's like a cause I, you know, I frequent a Safeway because I do a lot of uh bougie shopping. <laughs> Vegetables, fruits, and I like my stuff. You know, yeah, the produce stuff, is, yeah. is different. It is different when you it's, go to places like that, bro. So, but it's the same price on the app. Hmm. It's like, and that's the thing because you know how prices shift from in person to the app. Yeah, same price. How about that? And some the crazy thing is some things are are less expensive on the app. Well, I probably should. I, have well, I don't know what the happened. What the hell happened when I went in person? Because I got paper towels and water, and that shit came out to like seventy dollars. I was like, "How? Is alkaline, how alkaline water and Egyptian?" I was like, "Is y'all charging me per minute for the cart? Like, how is this happening?" Egyptian cotton paper towels and nine point five alkaline water. Something, dog. You know the price of in inflation is everything, <laughs> Bruh <laughs> Ah, it's funny, but it's true. I think everybody's feeling that inflation shit right now, dog. Well, you know, uh, everybody's feeling that shit. PG and E is this close to man. Well, the thing about it is, this, you know, it's it's the economy. The yeah. economy is trash. Well, see, like, it, the economy was a shit a few years ago, and everybody was getting that free money. Now everybody minute, complaining. Wait a minute, just let me finish. <laughs> Don't go into brother mode. <laughs> so look. The economy is trash right now. You got to think about all the issues that have piled up since the beginning of the shutdown with the pandemic. Mm -hmm. From shipping to distribution. Yes. And so on and so forth. So, you know, you got to think about the exports or the imports. Mm -hmm. Imports coming in, right? Mm -hmm. It's costing more to acquire and ship now because of all the issues and, you know, the rates of things. So right. with everything going up, Everybody else is having to pay more. So you're paying more to do the same things. So mm -hmm. That's first and foremost. Right. Anything you want to do outside of that, you're going to pay more than you normally would because of inflation. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And then the there's, no, there's no stimulation. Well, in somewhat because mm -hmm. those who are selling, people aren't really buying because they don't have the disposable income. I'm sorry. Go Sellers market for things that are considered in demand. I'm sorry about that. Mm-mm. Necessity Yeah So But with that being said though Like There's not a whole lot Of disposable income Because like I just said You're paying more To do the same things mm -hmm. If you do something Outside of the comfort zone You're gonna have to pay more Than you normally would To even make that happen right. now, On the flip side um, Cost of living Has also increased Yeah Yeah But wages haven't Mm -mm. So you have all these increases Inflation You have all this stuff going on Where you're paying more money But where's the extra money coming in at Right So um, What was that What was it called When people who are working Through the pandemic Were getting that extra pay What was Essential Essential workers yeah, That essential, essential workers, pay Yeah Yeah there's no more of that Nope There's no EDD 
There's no PPP. There's no stimulus checks going out, right? None of the tax credits or none of that. And on top of that, tax season is looking ugly because everything's been backed up from them trying to get everything else situated. So people are, some people are getting paid out and it's coming, but it's slowly coming. And I don't think that's going to be enough to kind of give us the type of that's why I did my shit ASAP stimulating the economy needs for things to shake so with that being said uh, budgeting is your best friend um, you know staying out the way hey bro you see how I was going crazy getting noodles the other day I didn't I have no shame on my game I have about six or seven packs of noodles in that bag catching Pokemon on the way home I don't care. Yes, I do it. It's free. Hey. It's free. Hey. The whole thing about it, though, it's like... I do play Pokemon. I don't give a shit. Whatever's in your budget, man, but that's the whole thing. Having a budget and making it work for you because it, I don't see things getting um, and I don't easier. See, I don't see no Lamborghini talking crypto and stocks either because that shit is... Anytime whew. soon. Oh, bro, the stocks are trash. Crypto is trash. I I, just, I looked at one. I, man, I had to liquidate some stuff. Like, <laughs> Won't get me caught up. Oh. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Stuff has been plummeting. No, but I mean, like, it's just, nah. it's, people are like, man, it's this and it's that. But you have to really look at what's going on when you take a step back and look at where the economy is and the mm-hmm. issues that it's had. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, where everybody is. Everybody is kind of in the same boat and nobody knows it. Yeah. Because everybody's too busy being focused on their own issues. Yeah. But we're all dealing yeah. with the same type of issues, which yeah. is financial issues and, you know what I'm saying? Um, Uncertainty Yeah You know what I'm saying The variables Because we don't know If there's going to be Another variant We don't know If there's going to be Another shutdown We don't be. know If things are going to Get back to some sense Of what we deem normal Right Because we want to lift The mask mandates And then it come back Stronger And part of the country Shuts down And then we come back You see what I'm saying yeah. So there's too many Ups and downs It's a roller coaster right now So the only thing That is certain Is the bullshit So yeah. with that being said The best thing you could do Is stay to yourself Stay within your circle. Stay in your lane, right? Live within your means. Budget better, and avoid the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like that's really all you can do at this point. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's true, dude. Um, I just mm. like even going out is 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 testy because even with I you even taking remember. all the precautions, mm-hmm. there are people out here who aren't vaccinated, aren't wearing masks. Are in big groups in everybody's face, sharing drinks, cigarettes, weed. You know what I'm saying? Like that type of mouth. To, but there's fucking a lot of carelessness. <laughs> it's all kinds of wild a ass shit of, when you think lot, about a it. A lot like, of carelessness as far as his health with what's going on right now. Yeah. Which means you have to be more on top of your game. But that just means that it's more of a gamble to go out, right? Yeah. Every. I, Everything is everything cause. is everything is more of a gamble than than what it used to be. And I ain't never been one yeah. to, to roll the dice. I you know don't I don't gamble. I play Xbox. I mean I did, <laughs> I did roll dice back in my day, but I don't. Nah, even, I wouldn't even. Mm-mm. I got dust on these nope. off. But right. I mean, it, it, we are living in a different climate, and people refuse to believe that it's different, and therefore it it it. it Adds to the uncertainty. Like even when, even people, when we take my, even when we take my son out, bro. I don't think people are different. refusing. I think it's just a lack of understanding. Nah, them niggas, dude. <laughs> Dog, we struck a nerve. Y'all didn't see that. You didn't see his face. The, Y'all the, got this the re- profile. I seen the, the reason why it's hard for me to believe that is because of the same word hype, right? And. There are people that literally don't listen to anything as far as masks or vaccination or giving a mother. You should just be giving a motherfucker six feet just because of personal space. Fun fact. So, what's up? A cough and a sneeze can travel up to 10 feet. Yes, it is. It, it, it can, yes. It, I remember, tra- I remember hearing that in the interview for to, a job. Yes. To 10 feet. And you're within fucking five or six. So, since I became a parent, like, I really doubled down on the way I feel about. I already felt like certain emotions about certain things because of how many people I know that have like passed away during the pandemic. Right. But people be out in public ignoring personal space like a motherfucker. No. <laughs> bro, I and I've to, been feeling that way before 2020. Before, yeah. Oh no. hundred percent. Bro. Just the other day I, I, uh, I was running around grabbing errands and I was like, you know, I had a little bit of a sweet tooth and like I've calmed down on that a lot. So whenever I really get a craving for something, I try to indulge in it. Cause he's, I don't he's really, being honest. We was at the store. He put everything back. 
Yeah, I, don't, I was like, I don't need none of this. I, I'm so proud of you. I was like, I want a donut. I'm gonna grab a donut. It was still early, so I know they fresh and everything. I get in there, and the dude comes in, and he's already he's already irritated me because he has a a speaker, and he comes in playing his music in an establishment. Right. Okay, so I'm not crazy. Go ahead. And I'm just like, bro, that is so disrespectful. I hate. I can't stand motherfuckers the like place, that. Yeah, let I can't alone stand the people that shit, who dog. are in here. Yeah. Like, turn it off or turn it down. And I was this close to turning around and saying something to him, but I was just like, I'm just not in the mood. Get my donut and dip. Yeah, I just yeah. Let me, please let me just. And so Radio then, Rahim is in here tripping. The people leave out, and so I step up a little bit, and then I move to the glass, and then I step back. When I step back, bro, went from here. To like right up on me And I'm like Oh no I'm still on Could you step back a little bit So I take a step back I'm like nah I need you to move A few more feet back he, Oh Oh Bruh like a month ago I had to snap with somebody In the airport Oh where? Bruh We're in line to get food You didn't even tell me About this on the phone I didn't <laughs> We were <laughs> We were in line To get food right And you know The line moves around They have stickers on the floor Six feet. Yeah, where they you're have supposed stickers on the floor for you. Pay the attention stickers, to the stickers. The stickers don't mean stand in between them. It means stand on them. Oh my gosh! So, bro, gets close to me. Preach. I'm gonna turn your mic up. He gets a little closer, and I'm like, I need you to step back, huh? I need you to step back. What? Step back six feet, bro. Like I had to, and you know me. I'm yeah. not a loud person. Nah. So if I gotta get loud. Yeah. You want to act like you don't understand English? And your shit was probably echoing in there. <laughs> you want to act like you don't understand English? <laughs> right. You know, you're going to get these words. Yeah. So then he stepped back, feeling embarrassed. But, bro, why are you in my personal space anyway? Like, and that's the thing that throws me off. Like, why are you in somebody's personal space off top? And then if you want to throw the pandemic on top of that, what the fuck are you doing? Right. Like, you should, like, and then all of a sudden, let's let's be honest. I am an African American man. When it people wouldn't start being all close to us anyway. Right. Right. Cause as soon as I turn around and I say something or I bump you or I do something you don't like, now you're offended or you feel some type of way. I will offend you on purpose. Please don't play with me. Right. If you ever see me in public, give me six feet, please, for your own safety. Right. No, nah, that's real, dog. I can't I don't even I never understood the uh the reason why you got to stand so close to a motherfucker you don't know. Bruh. I never understood that. Like, I, 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 I don't think I'll ever understand it. But what like, that? What are you wearing? Jojo Bob for me? Like, nigga, get off me. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, like, like, bruh. No, the wife, I mean, the wife had to check a woman at the hospital one time. We was taking a little man for a, uh, an appointment and we're getting, we're on the elevator. Right. And the crazy thing was, is they were like waiting, bullshitting, right? And then we jumped right on the elevator. And I don't give a fuck how you feel. There was a very larger woman. And then there was a pre-larger woman next to her. And it's me, my wife, and the baby in the stroller. And they were really about to get on. Not to mention the elevator said two people. You know what I'm saying? Per elevator in the hospital during the pandemic. And so they're about to walk on and shit. <laughs> and she was like, oh, we're all getting on the elevator or what? What was going on? And then the lady stepped back and was like, oh, I didn't realize that only two people and a baby. And she was like, I don't give a fuck. Kept pressing the button, whatever the case it was. <laughs> <laughs> but the lady was trying to say something smart, you know what I mean, about not being able to get on the elevator. But my whole thing is, why are you arguing? This is what y'all got to understand, you weird motherfuckers that do this shit. OK, why are you arguing with wanting to stand close to somebody that don't want you on them? I mean, you know, people I don't I don't I've never understood don't that respect personal space. Man. I've never understood that shit. People like, don't respect personal space. That's all. But why you want to be all up on a motherfucker, man? That's crazy. That's it's insane to me, bro. Like I would like for somebody to break that down. Don't get you know. Nah, I under. Nah, I, I do understand. Or I don't know. I, I guess. do understand, but I still speak up and say something like other cultures, because I know in other countries, like uh, nah, nah, I don't care. We in America. I know that. Adapt. So, so if what you, I'm, you speak English? Yeah. Then you adapt. No, I say something regardless. But oh, I when I say, when I question like why people when people do that. Shit, <laughs> When people do that shit, why you push him? He ain't understand English. I try and get a point across. Shit. Now help him up. <laughs> nigga, let me pick the tomatoes up, man. My bad. I just needed you to give me space. No, I'm not helping. 
Nah, bro. I, I get, I get like how people may not comprehend sometimes and I'm still, I'm, and I'm here to teach you, but like, come on, man. Stay the fuck, especially when black folks do it. That shit pissed me off even more because we know the rules. <laughs> we know the rules. We've been knowing the rules our whole damn life. So uh, you ain't been in your manual lately? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I need a refresher right now. Chapter two. <laughs> Straight yeah. up. Subsection three. Straight sub up. Verse A. Read it. You see, you see that? Yeah. Back the fuck up. Space at all times. You see, I said space at all times. At in all times. Yeah, at all, everywhere. This time too. Yeah, everywhere. Funerals, weddings included. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you keep that. I got a couple of Probably do at home. need to come out the, the, <laughs> the notions black people manual. We probably should. I don't know if everybody would agree with that. No, they have no choice. We said. You should have came out with the book first. All right, this is what the rules is. God damn it, we don't have time for this shit. As you said, first. Yeah, we came out see? with the book first. Use it right there. Right. You see? That's an example. Get the fuck up out of here. <laughs> uh, y'all be smooth. Yeah, y'all be smooth. Anyways, thanks for listening. You've been listening to the Notion Podcast with your boy Dizzy D. Spill here with my co host in the building. And um, give people space If you cough on me I'm swinging um, And we don't care about Kanye and Joe Rogan And all of these niggas Alright We got bills and shit And real life shit Alright <laughs> We out <laughs>